text in Inkscape version 0 0.45. Let's begin. Okay, the first thing that I'm going to do is select some text and we'll write the word Chrome. And I will pick a font that is rounded. Zoom in on that there. And let me turn off my page border. Just a little bit bigger so you can see it. There we go. Okay, next I am going to make our gradient. And we're going to edit our gradient. And we're going to add four stops total. Okay, our first stop. We will make a six nine nine BCD second stop. We'll make an E six F zero F F. Third stop, we'll make a 4B, 3C, 2D, and our last stop, we'll make an FA, F0, E6, And we'll change our dark brown to a 0.54. Okay, and that gives us our chrome gradient. So for now, we're going to shut this off. I'm going to duplicate this, slide this up. I'm going to duplicate this again. Turn it white, and I will do an inset. Okay, now I'm going to adjust this just a little bit to make it look like we are attempting to draw a drop shadow. I'll select both of these and do a difference. Okay. Now, on our black text, I'll duplicate this, change it to white. And I'm going to do a dynamic offset. We'll slide it down. It's pretty good. I'll take our white text. Give this a blur effect of 4.0. Okay. I'll select the black text. Now I'll apply our gradient. And I'll adjust our gradient handles to vertical. Okay. Now, I'm going to adjust our chrome just a little bit. Just a little bit tighter there. There we go. Now, I'll take our gradient, copy, and I'm going to duplicate this. I'll make it black. I'll go into our fill and stroke dialog. Give us a blur effect of 1.5. Send this to the back. Now, I'll take our highlights. Make sure they're moved to the front. And I'm just going to eye this, and we're going to put this right on top. There 
There we go. I'll take the whole thing here, group it together. and zoom in on it here. And there you go, Chrome text in Inkscape version 0.45. Thank you for watching. I'm HeThenX.